and you don't want to deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with that. It's not gonna bug you the whole video, I'm so sorry. So I know this is a weird like lipstick combination for me. Comment down below if you guys think that this is an okay lipstick to be wearing. It is like such an odd color for me. Some of you guys mightn't even freaking notice. Some of you guys might be like, that's not a normal lipstick you wear. But um, it's such a weird thing for me, especially since it's also a liquid lipstick. So it's like a weird color and a liquid lipstick. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. But um, yeah, just comment down below if you think this is, looks all right on my face. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love what's in my diaper bag videos. I swear, what's in my diaper bag is probably the most requested video I have ever gotten on my channel. And I swear, I do try to do these um, and update them every two months. And I swear, every single time, like I say a couple weeks, last time it was even a couple days after I upload um, one, I'm already getting requests to do an updated one. So I know you guys want to see this video. I am super excited to be filming it for you guys. Honestly, a lot has changed um, since our last diaper bag video. She started eating solids a lot more. Um, we're cloth diapering now, so it's definitely a lot has changed. So we have different things in our diaper bag to accommodate. I'm still using the Skip Hop Duo Signature in the French Strike print. The only thing is I'm using this solely as a diaper bag now. I use my purse separate from my diaper bag, so I do not carry almost any mommy things in here. This is solely for Audrey and that is it. So I find that it's uh, packed a little differently and it's actually a lot lighter now that I'm not keeping my items in here. It's not gonna bug you the whole video, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm such a horrible YouTuber. Um, but that's why you guys love me, right? Because I'm a real mom filming videos. Let's get into what's in this diaper bag. Okay, so let's start into what's in my diaper bag. So first off on the side here, I just have my keys with a little monogrammed keychain on them, securing this pocket here. So if you hear any jingling, that's what's going on throughout this video. Let's jump into the front pockets first, because that's what I try and do at the beginning of every one of these videos. So let's start on this side here, because you guys can now like kind of see a bit better uh, down into the pockets. First thing on the top here on this side, I kind of try and separate this into toys and then like miscellaneous small items that I'm going to need in a pinch. It's kind of weird, but that's just how it works for me. On this side, we have um, Audrey's book. This is her favorite toy in the whole world right now. It's like this little Cinderella book. It has like squeakers and ribbons and crunchy things and flaps and a teether. She just loves this. It needs to come with us everywhere. We Most of the time, this is attached to her car seat because it needs to go everywhere. It is not a pretty thing if she does not have her book. Um, another thing Audrey loves is her princess cell phone. You, you press different apps and it makes different noises with little like pictures on the top. Stormy weather, guys. Um, this is so amazing. This came with a book, actually, and she just, she absolutely loves the phone right now. She does, obviously doesn't get the whole concept of attaching the book to the phone and, like, pressing certain buttons in per certain portions of the story, but she loves the phone itself. Because she's, like, a little technology nerd. Um, and then the last thing I have in here, I believe... No, I have more! Um, the last toy thing I have in here is her little teething rings. This is such a classic toy, such a cheap toy, but I think every parent should have it, especially for teething babies. They're so convenient. You can uh, just do so many different things with them. They work so great. And if the last thing, oh, no. Okay, um, the last thing I have in here is a little book. This is Mortimer, Mort Mortimer. I can't speak today. Um, this is Mortimer by Robert Munch. Um, she just loves stories. Stories are her favorite thing in the world. So if she's ever cranky when we're out, we just read her book and she like starts flapping her arms and going crazy. So <laughs> we love reading her books on the go. And these are like the perfect size. I think we got like a pack of like seven or eight of these for like a couple bucks. It was pretty great. Now let's move into my like miscellaneous things I'm gonna need on the go pocket. Uh, it's pretty random, but whatever. Um, First thing I have in here is a pack of toy. This is usually how we attach her book to her stroller or her car seat. Basically, all you gotta do is clip this around the stroller, the car seat, whatever, and then you can just attach a toy. It's the best thing in the world. You get a two pack for like five bucks. Um, there's really no reason why any mother should not have some of these because they are so freaking convenient. 
Uh, the next thing I have in here, obviously, is some sunscreen. It has changed seasons here in northern Canada. Woohoo! Um, so I need sunscreen now. This is the Elba Bot Botanicals. This is our favorite one that we've found so far. It's light, so she doesn't freak out when we put it on her. It's just like the consistency of lotion. SPF 40, which we need here, um, is very emollient. She just, it works. We got it on sale at HomeSense. Um, for I think like half price so it worked um, and it's a very great one that we've tried so far and it has a lot of good ingredients it doesn't have a lot of crap in it which is always nice um, next thing I have in here is my mommy hook if you're a mom and you have a stroller you need a mommy hook it's just that simple you can attach shopping bags sometimes when I'm out shopping I'll even attach one of those little like shopping baskets onto my stroller or you can just attach the diaper bag if you're going in somewhere quick and you don't want to have to go through the whole process of stroller straps you just need one of these it's so 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 convenient at any time next thing I have in here is some hand sanitizer this is the honest company hand sanitizer spray we love the hand the honest company hand sanitizer sprays these are amazing we've gone through so many of them um, and they're just so convenient because I can use them on my hands I can use them on her hands and I don't have to worry about chemicals getting down to the last few things in here Ooh. so the next thing we have in here are her little sunglasses these are so adorable these I had such a hard time trying to find sunglasses that would fit her um, just because a lot of sunglasses are made for kids like two to three plus so actually these are from the child of mine for Walmart brand I don't know why the hell they randomly had them but they're cute and they actually fit her face which is kind of necessity for sunglasses now this is also made by the same brand that makes the pack of toys, so you know that they're gonna have some good inventions, guys. You really need to check this brand out. This is a Instabib, and it basically turns any napkin, like any disposable napkin, any burp cloth, anything into a bib. You just put this on each side of the child's neck and hook it on, clip it, these, these are little clips, the little bears are, and it turns anything into a bib. It's pretty fantastic. So I always keep that in there just in case I forget to pack a bib, which I do, usually don't. Um, and then all that's left in here is a pen, because you never know when you're going to need a pen. And those are my two front pockets. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but this pot bag comes with two bottle pockets. In each one of these, we just have a bottle full of water to do bottles on the go. Um, I don't really need to show you the other one, because it's the exact same thing. But uh, there's just two insulated bo bottle pockets, and that's what's in them. Um, also, same as usual, I just have my changing pad that came with the bag in the back slot where it was when I got the bag in the first place. I just haven't moved it from there. It's very convenient back there, and that's just that's where it's going to stay, I suppose. Um, so let's get into this little pocket here. Whoa. This little pocket here, the one with all the jangle jangle. Where are you? Um, so first thing in here is her little hat. I have no idea where this is from. It was like one of those hand-me-down things. But it's super cute. It has little like blue cherries all over it and it's nice because we can just throw it on her whenever we go out in the sun. Works. Um, what else do we have in here? We have her immunization records. Woohoo. Um, we have, oh, these are some reusable snack bags from Bumpkins. These are amazing because you don't have to use those nasty Ziploc bags. And in here we just have some mushies because she really loves those. Um, those are from Baby Gourmet. These are Those are like her favorite snacks ever so I just have those in there. Um, in here I also have a phone charger just in case because the last thing you want to do is be out somewhere and not have your phone. Um, and we also have my phone with crumbs. Mom life. Uh, <laughs> Next thing I have in here is a little bib, which is dirty. Woohoo. Um, please don't judge me, but uh, I have kids, so that's just how it works sometimes. Um, so this is just like a little princess bib. We got these from Baby Zara in a big five pack. They're from Koala Baby. They work amazingly. Um, I have a little lip balm for me, just in case. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have some of those little mom cards that I was telling you guys about before. Um, I have ooh, Audrey's next immunization thing that we have to go to. Um, I have my um, my gym membership there. I'm not going to show you guys because it tells you the location for my gym. I'm really I live really close to my gym and I'm paranoid. And then the last thing in here are a few penny liner penny power liner um, penny liner. <laughs> for me uh, just in case I'm gonna take this bib out just so you guys know and replace it with a fresh one let's get into the bulk of the bag so first thing I have on top Jujubee 
uh, Be Quick, and this is in the First Lady print, um, which was like a limited edition last summer thing. I don't know if they still sell it. I think it's still on Amazon. Um, but in here, we keep all of her diapering essentials. So if we ever need to go change her, we can just take this. Um, well, not just this. Um, this was her disposable one. We do have cloth diapers in a different section, but um, this is kind of like her emergency one. So sometimes if we're like going on a car ride or whatever, I will just take this because it just has her diapering essentials, um, but then we have our cloth diapers and stuff in here. So I'll explain. So what we have in here, change of clothes, and I know these two totally don't match, but because Audrey's not really in the blowout stage anymore, um, really the only thing we have to worry about is a leak. Um, which doesn't happen too often. Like the last set of clothes I had in here, she didn't even wear before she outgrew the size. So I like to keep things in here that I'm not going to miss in her regular clothing rotation. So they might match, but they'll work in a jam. <laughs> Next thing I have in here is a disposable cloth diaper liner. Actually, I have a couple of these. Um, I keep these in here because my fiance likes to have the liners if we're going to be out and about, just because then he can just take it out, flush it, and he doesn't have to worry about stuffing a poopy diaper in a wet bag, because apparently that terrifies him. I don't know. Men will be men, I suppose. Um, in here, I also have one disposable diaper. This is an Honest Company diaper in size 3, um, just in case she has an accident and we go through too many cloth diapers. Normally, I pack a enough diapers. I've never wet came across an instance where I had to use a disposable because we ran out of cloth because I kind of know how many diapers she goes through in a certain amount of time now. She doesn't like surprise me very often. So I, I've never had to use this but I never want to be in a circumstance where I don't have a diaper so I always keep that in there <laughs> just in case. Um, another thing I keep in here is a disposable changing pad. This is actually really convenient. Um, if you go to the pool, sometimes the changing pads are really wet um, and you don't want to lay your nice like memory foam changing pad down on that so you can lay this down. Or if I'm in this instance where I'm just taking this and I haven't taken my full diaper ba bag with my changing pad, this works great as just a little barrier to make sure that she's not getting all germy. I know it's not soft and cushy, but it's great and it's just disposable. By the way, mom tip, you can also use these um, underneath your child's high chair at restaurants if they tend to be messy eaters. It's very convenient. So if you, you're done the potty training stage and you have a few left over, it's a very good idea. Um, next thing we have in here is the organic healing balm from the Honest Company. This is both cloth diaper safe and disposable safe. Obviously everything is disposable safe. So we love this uh, diaper cream. People argue about whether or not this is cloth diaper safe, but I've looked into it and it is. Um, so we love this. We use this whenever we're out and about. At home we use coconut oil, but I find that's just way too messy to travel with. So this works great for on the go. Last thing we have in here is our Honest Company wipes case with Honest Company wipes inside. Um, some people might say, oh, well, why don't you use um, cloth wipes on the go? I just not have not mastered cloth wipes on the go yet, so we're still using disposable wipes. It still works great for us. So I think I might have to master cloth wipes on the go. So if you guys have any tips and tricks, make sure to comment down below th with those because I'd love to hear them. So that is everything in our little Juju be, be Quick. That actually makes up the majority of the inside of our diaper bag, as you can see. We don't really need to bring a ton of stuff now. She's kind of a big baby, so we don't really need to bring tons. This pocket over here is kind of our cloth diapering pocket. That's where I put my stuff. This is our wet bag for on the go. This is one from Bumpkins. We love the print of it. It's just simple and easy. I used to have a wet dry bag, but I found it just took up too much room in my diaper bag. So I love this one because I can fold it up really, really tiny if it's not in use and just stuff it in the back and forget about it. And then the other thing we have in that pocket is, of course, a cloth diaper. This is the Funky Fluff, Bla Funky Fluff, Funky Fluff Bamboo Lux. These are our favorite cloth diapers with buttons unsnapped. Woohoo! Um, but we usually, um, this isn't exactly the diaper we keep in here. We use this on a regular basis. What I usually do is I usually just leave the diapers out of my diaper bag and pack them last minute. So this is just kind of like a representation of the diapers that would be packed in here. Um, just because I don't want to be wasting a diaper, keeping it in my diaper bag when I could be using it every day. So um, usually what I do for Audrey is I usually take however many hours we're going to be out and divide that by three because she usually goes through a diaper every three hours ish sometimes a little more sometimes a little less um, and that's how many diapers I bring uh, not including the disposable obviously so it could just really depend on how long we're going but I'm just showing you guys one for reference 
As some of you guys who are using disposable diapers might ask why I'm still bringing so many diapers for Audrey. Just for reference, disposables do last longer on your child normally than uh, cloth diapers will. So with cloth diapers, Audrey would be able to go, you know, four or five hours in a disposable, but now with cloth, she needs to be changed more frequently so she doesn't leak through all the time. So that's just something I thought I'd put out there. Um, next thing we have in here is the pacifier wipes from Munchkin. Um, she does not take a passy. That is not Audrey's thing, but I find these are great for toys. Um, if she accidentally drops a toy on the ground or on the stroller, whatever the case may be, um, these are really nice. Um, you can also use these to like wipe down if you're going out somewhere and you want to put your kid in the high chair. Um, you can use those to wipe up the high chair as well. Now I just have a couple things down here. Um, I have my I believe this is from Munchkin. Not quite sure at the moment, but I believe it's from Munchkin. It is a formula dispenser. We just keep uh, amounts of formula in here for Audrey so we can mix them with the bottles that we have on the sides. Um, if we're going out for an extended, like a horribly long trip, then what we do is, um, what I usually do for bottles as well, is I usually do about the same formula that I do for the diapers, is one bottle for every two to three hours um, that we're out plus one because Audrey tends to want to eat as soon as we leave the house and while we're out and about she tends to want to eat more just because you know it's a strange place she loves eating while she's out and about I don't know why it's just my child but um, I usually do that kind of formula so that I'm not running out of bottles because it's the last thing you want to do because sometimes if you're out like I know this is going to be a l really weird to people who aren't parents but if you're out and about sometimes if your child has, needs a ch diaper change you can make it work for 15 20 minutes till you get home um, but if your di child needs to be fed you cannot you cannot fudge it up until you and wait till you get home. They need that bottle. They will screech their freaking heart out. They will be screeching wherever you are, and you don't want to deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with that. So, um, if you're not nursing and you can't just nurse on demand, uh, you kind of have to be prepared. So, um, I keep this filled with three, and if we're going anywhere for an extended period of time, I keep the two bottles that are in here plus our little um, bottle carrier from Skip Hop. I'll insert a picture, but we just love that. It works so well. Ladies, so I had to take a quick break to change a diaper, but the next thing we have in here is Mr. Jeffrey. His name is not Jeffrey from uh, Aiden and I, but he, um, he's been named Jeffrey in our house. He's one of the Aiden and I loveys, and Audrey just loves him. She loves cuddling up into him when she's like nervous about stuff, um, which I don't know how I can read when she's nervous, but it's just a mom thing, I suppose. But uh, she really likes this thing, so we always try and keep it around. Then the very, very last thing we have in here, which is at like the very bottom of our diaper bag and kind of camouflages in, is our bottle warmer, just in case the bottle's too uh, cold when we're going to feed her. And there we go. Okay, so that was everything that was in my diaper bag. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys really enjoy what's in my diaper bag videos. I remember I was obsessed with watching The Mob is Pregnant, but I've kind of fallen out of it lately. So if you guys have uploaded a what's in my diaper bag video recently, make sure to link it down below because I'd love to see it. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions that you guys would like to see, comment those down below too. Sorry my daughter is screeching because she loves to screech and she loves to hear herself. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!